Did she not say to take the dragons and take a stand? Wherever they are. They should have took the... There, don't, don't they have dragons? <laughs> oh, well, she finally grew some big ones. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. We are about to watch episode number two of um, House of the Dragon. I don't know what to expect at this point. I hope my... I'm in Canada. <laughs> And I can only watch it on Crave, and I hope Crave does not crash because I'm still waiting for it to load, and it is not loading. Aww. Like honestly, why is the intro like three minutes long? <laughs> Yo, listen, what is this? You already know what's about to happen. Yo, first of all, if your ships and your men look like you, that's why they're not doing nothing. Yes, I did make this a racial moment. <laughs> But you know, I'm not about that right now. I don't know why they're doing this to him. It's because of his wife, probably. The king, the queen that never was. Mm. First of all, pause. If this, pause. If this princess don't take the hand of the king out. <laughs> My whole thing is that, like, how old is she? Like 13, 14? Like, what is she really going to do right now? But that's the, the whole thing. And the way how they're, it's five, I'm five minutes in, okay? And the way how they're looking at her, like, she's just supposed to be his heir in name only and not action. She needs to kill all of them. <laughs> you have the dragons, kill them all. Like, get rid of them, start fresh. Be like your uncle and just go on a murder rampage because I don't understand. Something tells me the, um, the queen that never was, I don't know her name yet, but you know, the blonde hair is black man's wife, that one. <laughs> She's going to be a problem. <laughs> She's either going to be a problem or she's going to help Renera, I think that's her name, take over this entire kingdom. But she's going to be a problem. Do you have a question? She's picking knights. Now, here's the thing. Are the knights supposed to protect her? And I know I'm going to talk a lot. I'm going to try and keep this real short, right? But I have so many questions because of how they started the season last week. Not impressed. Um, is this knight going to be her suitor at some point? Because I don't understand this. Why they have her picking her knight? Like, why? What's the purpose right now? How are you going to tell her sh she gets to choose her knight? And then when she chooses her knight, that's not the one you're supposed to choose. Of course. Uh... Okay, we got to get rid of the, the hand of the king. He got to go. He has to go, okay? And the queen that never was, I need her to be a problem at this point. <laughs> she needs to step in and help her take over. Because all of this is just... And the hand of the king's daughter, her daddy is just pimping her out. Like, I'm, I know this is how it was back in the day. I get it. But I don't. <laughs> and if Renera does not take her out, she a whole punk. <laughs> like, no, you're you're next in line. You can do as you please the same way as Damon or Damien. What's his name? Damon? The brother. So what you're saying is we're going to war. And if this king does not boss up, there's no point for him being in the show. <laughs> what? Yo! The way how they were just so like... I, I got all this incestual stuff. <laughs> so he's going to wed his cousin's daughter? Like, don't get me wrong. I understand this is how they did it back in the day because, you know, stupid thing about bloodline and all that stuff and yada, 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 and power and this and this and yada, whatever. But, like, how is it that the hand of the king, like, everybody's trying to fight for power, clearly, because the hand of the king pimped out his daughter so in hopes that the king would do whatever with his daughter and hopefully she can produce a son to dethrone Renera, and now you're giving up his cousin for what? The thing is, right, I feel like all of this is very unnecessary, especially since they are still going to go to war, because what's the purpose? Like, just do what your daughter said and take your dragons and just do what you do. You have dragons. What's the point of having dragons? <laughs> now, 
See now, this is a king with a little bit of a conscience, but he has all these stupid people around him trying to tell him what to do. He doesn't want to wed his cousin because of what his daughter might think. And these two fools are out here saying, well, you have no choice. <laughs> what? I can't. Listen, you're trying to pimp out your daughter, so I don't understand what you're doing. My word. First of all, right? How old is this little girl? <laughs> oh, how old is she? Like five? This is just... She, she's so little. How, seven? Ten the most. And he's supposed to wed her? Child. What was it like flying the black dread? You know what? I can't. I can't. First, you know what I'm saying? You're pimping out your daughter and you're sitting down here asking a 14 year old girl if it bothers her that her father wants to get with her cousin. Just, she gotta go. <laughs> Just rude. Yo, this little girl better boss up and take her dragons and do some damage. Did I not tell y'all Damon was gonna be a problem? <laughs> Damon. Damon is a whole problem. The hand of the king wants to go to Dragon's Den, Dragon's Nest, whatever. I'm gonna get the words right eventually, okay? And I'm pretty sure he's gonna go there to, to, to do some secret plan with Damon to overthrow this king because this man, or, 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 he might go there and kill Damon. Cause this man, this man, I don't trust him. I don't trust him. These hands of these kings, they're just always the ones out for power. And secretly, they're the ones that are running the show. You know what I'm saying? He's pimping out his daughter so his daughter can be queen and he can have a higher ranking. Like, I just cannot. I can't. I really can't. And Damon, yo, if Princess Renera does not do something drastic in this episode, I'm done. Like, I'm still going to watch it, but I'm done. <laughs> this is a truly pathetic show. They are just... So they are shady. You, you know what though? You know who Damon reminds me of? Um, Daenerys's brother. <laughs> that's who I. It, that's what it's giving. It's giving that I forgot his name, but he needs to die a death like that. Okay, <laughs> that's what it's giving. But I don't know. I'm I'm starting to like Damon. Like the king. Mm. Did she not say to take the dragons and take a stand? Wherever they are. They should have took the... Don't, don't they have dragons? <laughs> Damon is not the only person that has a dragon. Isn't his daughter a dragon rider? Like, baby. The way how they're just killing my vibe right now. Like, I just can't. I can't. Oh, well, she finally grew some big ones. Because, girl. Why weren't you there? Like, I'm telling you, she's smart because she's a dragon rider. How you gonna go to Dragonstone without a dragon rider? He has a dragon. You should have a dragon. <laughs> okay, she bossed up. Let's see what she does Hold now. Hold on. She wasn't pregnant. <laughs> oh, the poor mistress. The poor well, mistress. The thing. How is she so concerned about her safety now? When she ran off to Dragonstone with him, she wasn't concerned. <laughs> How you so concerned? How is she so concerned now? Like, I don't get it. I, mistress, just just stay in your lane, okay? She just friend? stay in her lane. It's her friend, eh? It's your friend? The friend? Cheers! Woo! Your whole friend! You better get the dragon and take her out. <laughs> it really is, but your child is younger, so stop. Ooh, child, they're about to go to war. She was okay. This is the thing. She was okay if it was her little cousin, right? But her best friend, child, dragon. <laughs> like, honestly, this is too much. The way, the way how they are so dramatic right now. First of all, how, why is Damon back here? All because he didn't want to marry your underage daughter? <laughs> I can't. I can't. Recognize. Pause. I stand with Damon, okay? Damon said, I could disrespect my brother all I want, but you better not. <laughs> Damon said, if you ever disrespect my brother, I got you. Like, honestly. All right, listen. So, I just watched episode number two. 
<laughs> I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm halfway on the, uh, the positive side. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. It, it wasn't bad. I mean, the, the incestuous relationships and beyond the age marriages and stuff like that, I, I don't like, you know, because it's just like, but I understand that it was a time period and that's what they did in that time. However, um, that hand of the king, he got to go. And I will stand for anyone that takes him out. <laughs> He's trying to better his bloodline and his role in the kingdom to have his daughter marry the king and to produce the heir. Now, did we not just witness what happened to the queen when the queen gave birth to the son, but she had a C-section and she died? And the baby died? Is that what you want to happen? <laughs> because it's not given. <laughs> but honestly, I'm here for this. I want to see more dragon action. I really do. Like, I want to see... their House of the Dragon. I want to see more dragon action. Like, I legit want to see more dragon action. And based on the interaction between Damon and Renera. I personally feel like she's probably the more dominant one. We just don't see it yet. Um, and Damon listened to her. So I don't know. I don't know if it was because it was his niece or, you know, he doesn't want to shed his bloodline's blood. Like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe the king, but not his niece. Like, you know? So I don't know. But I want to see what's going to happen when they go up against the Crab King because that's his name right now because I don't know his name. The Crab King. <laughs> Because how are you feeding sailors to crabs? <laughs> what kind of superpower is that? <laughs> I'm not mad at this episode, okay? Uh, you can tell me how you feel in the comments below. We may not agree. We may agree. You may see something differently than I do. And I welcome the perspectives, okay? But that is it. And I'll see you back here for another one.